Hey there, Pod Squad. I'm Jen Hudak, co founder of Escapod Trailers, and today I am so excited to tell you all about the Topo 2 Nomad. For starters, let's talk about the things that have carried over from the current Topo 2 trim level. One, is the body design. This is the same beautiful single piece composite body of the Topo 2. You'll notice that everything back here looks pretty similar in terms of the molded gutters around the hatch and the doors. Um, no concerns for rot or water leaks through this beautiful body and it has that insulation that we know and love. You also have the free ride suspension standard on this trailer. So the off-road capability is still as capable as it was before. Another thing that carries over from the current Topo 2 trim level is that beautiful soft touch headliner inside the cabin. This adds to the overall R value of the trailer and really does a lot to maintain dryness inside the cabin so you don't have to worry about condensation. You'll also notice that we carried over the gigantic two and a half foot by five foot stargazer window in the cabin as well. So what's different, you might be wondering? Well, let's talk about configuration in the galley. So the configuration back here in the galley is a little bit different from our current Topo 2 trim level. You'll notice that the drawer slides for the cooler are on the other side. We've removed the sink and we've removed the integrated slide out stove. Part of the reason we were doing this is we know you already have a cooler, you already have a stove that you like in your car camping setup, and we wanted to make this space really versatile. So it comes standard with the drawer slides here. You can add the Yeti. If you wanna upgrade to a 75 liter Yeti, you can do so. We also still sell the 63 quart ARB fridge freezer as an option back here as well. The galley comes pre-wired with a 12 volt uh, power for that fridge if you do wanna add that later or even use your own fridge that you already know and love. By removing the integrated water system and plumbing, um, we've given back a lot of storage into this galley. So we have that same cutting board and now you'll notice a feature that is similar to our original Topo, a huge storage compartment behind this cutting board, great for dishwashing supplies, paper towels, um, food storage, so much versatility in the storage options for this trailer. And then of course you have your cutting board to use for prep. Over here, we have very similar design to the current Topo 2 trim level. Uh, I've removed the table already. That's set up over on the side. That's another carryover feature that we love. All of the storage here is modular, so you can customize it to fit all of your camping goods for kitchen, uh, for a kitchen area. Um, and as you can see, there is a ton of room for food storage as well. So let's talk about water storage. We have created storage for water jugs underneath here using the Dometic system. These are 11 liter jugs. Um, this one we are showing with the faucet. So this is a rechargeable battery and a simple tap up here allows the water to start running so you can easily access drinking water, have a place to simply wash uh, your hands or brush your teeth. Um, a really nice and easy solution for water. Um, that is again an option. If you have a water solution that works for you, you can use that and use this space under here. There are D-rings and we have everything tied down so everything is nice and secure underneath uh, the drawer here. That brings us to our next feature, um, a massive drawer. So what do we have in here? Let me show you. We have the Pinnacle Stove from GSI. This is something that can easily be set up on the side table. Or if you're camping at a more established campground and they have a pavilion area, you can bring it over there, use the stove wherever you see fit. We also have our silverware storage in this drawer. So the stove actually sat right on top of our silverware. Um, we have all of our utensils for cooking, um, dish towels, dishwashing supplies, everything that you need for kitchen functionality can fit in that drawer. We have moved the mechanicals out of the utilities closet and dropped them down behind the cooler storage. So down here you will find your uh, lithium battery, 100 amp hour battery comes standard, as well as your fuse block and your onboard power charger. 
you do have an option to upgrade to a dual battery system here as well. We did move the master power switch to the back here. Um, and then you'll notice the blank spot up top here. If you add on the solar panel to your build, the solar controller will be there. Um, otherwise you will have a blank mounting plate. In terms of carryover details, we're still using that same beautiful stainless steel uh, countertop. Um, we have white options as well as red light options for our light back here. Um, and then everything for the hatch construction is the same. So again, that hatch lifts and goes behind the molded gutters. So rainfall will run off of the hatch and stay out of the trailer, just directing the elements where we want them to go. Welcome to the interior of the Tapo 2 Nomad. I absolutely love the interior space of this trailer. It is so expansive. And if you've seen the Tapo 2 in person in its current version, you already know that this interior cabin space is massive. And this design gives you even more functionality and space inside of your trailer. So let's start with talking about storage. We have a really cool storage system up here um, using bungees and these amazing little uh, packing bags. What's great about this system is you can bring these packing cubes into your house, load up your clothes, and then very easily bring everything out to your trailer and stow it away in the storage. Um, and then of course with the bungees, this is going to make sure everything stays put as you are traveling on off roads and hitting those bumps that we all find out on the road. We also have these little cube storage here. This is great for things like toiletries or smaller items that you want to bring out with you and kind of keep segregated um, from other things. So socks, underwear, that type of thing. And then lastly, we have two traditional cupboards here. Of course, those have those locking latches as well. There is just so much storage in here. I mean, in terms of a family-friendly trailer, this really is it. Now, some of the carryovers from the current Topo 2 trim level are going to be your nightstand. So we have USB-A and USB-C chargers up here, as well as your wireless chargers, and then additional cubby storage down below in that nightstand as well. Additional carryovers are the headboard storage. So I'll climb in here. I've got a camp chair stashed away in here. This space is just massive and great for additional bulk storage. Of course, our two and a half foot by five foot stargazer window. This is an operational window that opens and closes depending on what you see fit. And then of course we have our dimmable LED overhead light as well as the standard max air fan. The max air fan can still be upgraded to an AC or the max fan deluxe if you would prefer some different climate control options. One of the most popular features of the current Topo 2 was the mudroom and the coat closet. So we made sure to carry that over into the Nomad. We have coat hooks up here, um, as well as that beautiful cubby to store your shoes when you get in and out of your trailer. Uh, and the other nice part is that we have an additional flat surface here. Great to put cell phones. You've got another little cup holder um, notch in here as well. So again, just a lot of versatility in this trailer. One thing I did not talk about was the mattress. We still have that six inch memory foam mattress that comes with every Topo 2, regardless of trim level. And the other thing you'll notice, I am five foot eight, so I'm not the tallest person. I'm also not the shortest person. And I have so much room in this trailer. There's an additional probably two and a half feet past my feet where they end um, underneath the cabinets. And one thing that we're so excited about, and selfishly especially me, because I just had my second child, uh, is that there is a possibility of adding a bunk in this space as well, um, so that you can expand the sleeping capacity inside of this trailer. The final area of the trailer that we're gonna talk about today is the tongue box. This is integrated into the body mold and the body construction. So you get this massive storage compartment with the Topo 2 regardless of trim level. The handle up here is locking so you can keep all of your goods secure. We still have light inside of this uh, storage compartment. 
Um, and then one of the main changes you'll notice here is that instead of the L-Track along the back, we went to a D-Ring system. It's a super easy to use system. You can use a bungee cord to secure your goods or use tie downs, however you see fit. Um, but because we've removed the integrated propane system that ran all the way back to the stove in the current Topo 2 trim level, you have even more storage capacity inside of this tongue box that allows you to bring everything that you need with you on the road. All right, so let's talk some numbers. One of the amazing parts about this trailer is that it weighs in at 1,650 pounds. You can get all of this for 1,650 pounds, can be towed by most midsize SUVs. Super exciting to have more people on the road that can tow a Topo 2. Now let's talk height. The overall height of this trailer is 77 inches. That is six foot five inches. This trailer can fit in almost any garage out there. And lastly, Let's talk price. The Topo 2 Nomad starts at $33,990. You still get that five year manufacturer's warranty from Escapod, all of the off road capability, the quality craftsmanship, beautiful design, and functional interior and galley space on this trailer. To check out all of the available options and upgrades for the Topo 2 Nomad and to order yours today, head on over to escapod.us. You will be able to personalize this trailer to suit your adventures.